Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial in wave propagation series. We are doing ionospheric propagation and in this video we'll talk about critical frequency. And before we start critical frequency, I'll write down all the measures of ionospheric propagation that we are going to cover in the coming videos. Different measures are characterized at different point in times of the day and these measures are used in making predictions of radioactivity and long distance propagation. Uh, by the way, we are going to cover and see the critical frequency in today's video and then in the coming videos we'll see virtual height, maximum usable frequency known as MUF, then lowest usable frequency LUF and skip distance. But in this video we are focusing our attention on critical frequency which is one of the more important ones. Let's look at the definition of critical frequency. For any given time, each ionospheric layer has a maximum frequency at which radio wave can be transmitted vertically and can, can be reflected back on Earth. Now this can be understood by taking an example here. Uh, the key point here is vertically. For example, if we send a frequency of signal vertically in the ionosphere, it is understandable that it will undergo various refractions so the bending of the signal will happen at each layer and at one point in time it will turn back towards earth which is total internal reflection eventually happening because of various refractions now if this is the maximum amount of frequency that we can send that can be turned back and that too vertically if we increase this for example if this frequency was 10 megahertz for a particular time in a day and if we increase it to 11 megahertz let us say then this will never come back and this will escape into the uh, space so that's the maximum frequency that will come back to earth after several uh, refractions that too sent vertically of course, if we want to send a higher frequency, we'll initially may send it at some angle, some incident angle theta i that will facilitate uh, the turning back of the signal because we are taking the worst case scenario. We are taking the, the maximum capability of the signal and that can be done at vertical incidence only. So that's the point that you need to uh, remember. This frequency is not sent at certain uh, incident angles this is sent at a zero degree to the normal so in other words it is sent vertically so next we have uh, the formula from the snell's law that theta sine of theta i upon sine of theta r is equal to 1 minus 81 n upon f so this is the frequency that we are talking about we know that the refractive index depends upon the frequency that will send and n is the maximum ionization density of a layer but for the critical frequency the uh, the condition here will be theta i to be equivalent to zero so th sine theta will also become zero and this eta will also become zero so the condition or the expression for critical frequency can be obtained at theta i is equal to zero and that has been explained that we are experimenting this on a vertical incident wave. At this frequency, uh, F will turn to FC and we'll see that if that critical frequency uh, for which the wave will turn back towards Earth. And let's find out the expression here, putting the left hand side to be equivalent to zero and opening this under root we get it to 1 m nm square upon fc square is equal to 1 so fc turns out to be 9 under root nm very very important relationship for the point of view of numericals and please understand this fc is only only for vertical incidence at an angle 0 if we wish to send a higher frequency than fc then we we have the option of sending it at some angle facilitating its bending at the initial 
transmitting stage. Now let's look at some uh, some of the key layers cutoff frequencies at typical uh, values of nm. D has a cutoff frequency of 100 kilohertz for its uh, typical value of nm, and E will have a cutoff frequency of 3 to 5 megahertz. F1 will have 5 to 7 megahertz, and F2 will have 10 megahertz or more. Now that is clearly uh, understandable from this expression that FC is 9 under root nm and nm increases as we move up in the ionosphere so F1 and F2 layers have maximum ionization densities so they have higher cutoff frequencies and D has lowest ionization density so that has the lowest cutoff frequency so you could remember this table also now let's look at some of the numericals that you may face in the examination. These could be two marks numericals. The critical frequencies are given for uh, E and F layers, 2.5 MHz and 8.4 MHz. We need to calculate the maximum electron density. So you, you can use that formula Fc is equal to 9 under root and M that we just saw previously. Right? And the next numerical could be of the type that FC uh, is needed to be found out for D, E and F layers and NM is given as 400 electron per centimeter cube and 5 into 10 to 5 electrons per centimeter cube. The key point here is when CC uh, centimeter cube is given then the frequency turns out to be in kilohertz. Otherwise you need to change it to uh, meter cube the standard units if you want the expression to be in words so let's see what happens for these kind of numericals for uh, for example in this numerical we see that nm is equal to fc square upon 81 so we can clearly say that fc for E layer is 2.5 into 10 raised to the power 6 whole square upon 81 so the density comes out to be 0.7716 into 10 raised to the power 11 cubic meter so these many electrons in one cubic meter. So you can see that I've changed the frequency in its standard format. So the result has also come in cubic meter. Same, you can use the formula nm is equal to fc square upon 81 for this frequency and find the maximum uh, electron density. And again, for such questions, we have this, these are pretty simple fc is equal to 9 under root 400 which is this formula that we can straight away use but the answer will come out to be in kilohertz as i mentioned previously so this is pretty straightforward this is just a modification of the same formula and uh, i hope uh, you liked the video where of clearly uh, discussed what are the possible questions that can come for critical frequency and if you liked the video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel i'll see you around in the next video take care bye bye